Have you been running ads on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube and noticed increasing ad costs and insignificant results? Well, maybe it's time to give Snapchat ads a go. If you want to target Gen Z and millennials, then Snapchat ads is a must. Today, my focus is to share exactly how you can set up and launch your first profitable Snapchat ads campaign to drive online store sales. All right, with that quick intro out the way, let's go ahead and launch into Snapchat ads together to build out your first profitable campaign. Now to get your business started with Snapchat ads and to build out your first profitable campaign, simply click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Right now, Snapchat business is giving new advertisers a free $375 in ad credit. Basically, when you reach $350 of ad spend, you'll get $375 in ad credit completely for free. This is incredibly helpful for new advertisers when running and testing multiple ads. So make sure you take advantage of this bonus ad credit. Also, it's important to note that this promo may change in the near future. Okay, so before we build out your Snapchat ads campaign, what exactly is Snapchat ads and who is it for? Well, in essence, Snapchat ads are a dynamic and engaging form of mobile advertising, allowing all kinds of businesses to connect and reach the Snapchat platform's predominantly young and highly active user base. Snapchat ads is ideal for businesses of all shapes and sizes that primarily want to target Gen Z and millennials. Businesses like yours can reach the highly engaged 13 to 34 year old demographic across over 25 countries. Snapchat ads also have some of the lowest ad costs and highest conversion rates compared to other platforms. Also, a study that was run by Snapchat ads found that users on Snapchat are 34% more likely to buy products from Snapchat ads compared to the same ad on other platforms. So if you're new to running ads or you've tried running ads across other platforms, it's definitely time to give Snapchat ads a go. Okay, now today I'll be focusing on building a campaign for driving conversions for a Shopify store. However, in saying that, no matter what website that you have and if you're interested in learning how to drive more sales with Snapchat ads, then you can still follow along with this Snapchat ads tutorial. Okay, so now that we're a bit more familiar with Snapchat ads, let's go ahead and get started. Add your account details, then come down and click next. Add your username, ideally your business name, and then your website. I've added my Shopify store, Flowfly Sound, which sells headphones and other audio gear. It's recommended to keep import brand assets selected. This can help you when creating ads. Then click on create account. Here you can add a profile photo as well as add a bio. Okay, so I've added my business profile picture as well as my bio. Let's hit confirm. Go ahead and take the time to add your business details. And once you've added your business details, come down and click on next. Then answer these questions to help set up your account. This is a business account. Here is my online store website. Click save and continue. The focus for me today is to sell more products. However, as you can see, we have these other goal options that we can choose from. And we'll talk more about these later. Come down, click on next. Here we can select what your audience is interested in. Don't worry too much about what you select here, as I'll show you how to target the right audience when building out your ads. Okay, so I'm going to select a few options and hit finish. And just like that, we're inside our Snapchat ads account. Now, it's important to note that Snapchat ads is sponsoring this video. So just quickly, I wanna say a big thank you to Snapchat ads for partnering with us on this video and supporting us in providing this educational Snapchat ads tutorial for our audience, those that are interested in running ads on the Snapchat platform. Again, thank you Snapchat for partnering with us on this video. Click on back to manage view and then navigate up to the menu. And let's quickly discuss some important account items before we create our ads. Under assets, we have events manager. This is a tool used to track and manage events triggered by your users interacting with your website or app. This is after website or app visitors engage with your ads. Then we have audiences. Here you can manage custom audiences, lookalike audiences, predefined audiences, and more. Then we have pixels. This is a tracking code that you add to your website. Basically, a pixel is important for tracking user actions. So what are your website visitors doing after they've come from a Snapchat ad? And soon I'll show you how to connect a pixel to your Shopify store. Then we have apps and catalogs. However, we're not going to touch on these in this beginner's tutorial. Under creative, we have creative library, and this is where you can manage all your ad creatives. These are creative assets like images and videos. Below this, we have lens folders and create lens and filter. These are more advanced items. However, if you're interested in learning more about these advanced items and features that I don't cover today, I'll add the relevant 
relevant resources down below in the description. Okay, let's quickly touch on audience insights. This provides you data on your targeted audiences, helping you understand who is viewing or engaging with your ads, ultimately allowing you to refine and optimize your targeting. Again, we're not gonna cover these items in this tutorial as they are not relevant for this tutorial. Then we have business dashboard and we'll jump back into this later once we've created our ads. Basically, it's a centralized view of your campaign's performance. Under members, here you can add and manage other individuals that are part of your Snapchat business account. Here you can add people to help you run your ads. Then billing and payments. Here you want to take the time to add your billing details. To run your ads, you need to add your payment details. Okay, so before we create our first campaign, we need to add a snap pixel to our website. Click on pixels, create pixel, and add a pixel name. And remember, adding a pixel to your website is important for tracking. Once you've added your pixel name, come down to create, then select your ad account. This ad account name will automatically be generated when you first create your account. Then click on set up pixel and navigate down to partner integration. And because I run a Shopify store, we do not need to manually add the code into our website. All I need to do is jump into Shopify and install and set up an app. So let's go ahead and do that now. First, jump inside the back end of your Shopify store, then navigate over to apps and type in Snapchat ads and click on this app. Navigate down to install, and here we simply need to install the Snapchat Ads app. Navigate down to start setup, and now we need to connect our Snapchat account. Click on continue, and make sure you're logged into your Snapchat Ads account in your browser, and that account will automatically be connected to this app. Then click on create business account, then make sure all your business details are correct, and then come down and click on next. Here we need to verify this email that we use to set up this account. Once you've located the email inside your inbox, come down and click on confirm email. Navigate back here, click on next, add your payment details if you haven't done so already, and then hit next. And let's navigate back to Shopify. Back inside Shopify and this interface, you may need to refresh the page, then navigate down here and click on accept and save settings. And that's it. Now Shopify is connected with your Snapchat ads account. If we navigate over to data sharing, we can see the pixel that is connected. You can also disconnect and add a different pixel ID in here from your Snapchat ads account. For example, if we jump back into our Snapchat ads account and then click out of here, you can find your pixel ID up here. And then if we navigate over to view pixel events and locate the pixel that we created, this is where you can see all events triggered on your website. I've just installed the pixel, so no activity has appeared here yet. And again, you can find this interface under events manager. Okay, so now that our Shopify store is connected with our ads account, let's go ahead and create our first campaign. And these are the different goal options that we have. If we navigate up to awareness and engagement, this is where you can reach users on Snapchat to essentially drive interest in your brand. Below this, we have traffic. Here, our goal is to send users on Snapchat to a specific destination. This could be our website or an app. Then we have leads. Maybe you run a local business or a service-based business and you want to capture user contact details. Then this is a good option for you. Then we have app promotion. If you have an app and you want to drive user installs, then this is a good option. However, today's focus is to drive conversions, drive sales through running Snapchat ads. We want users on Snapchat to see our ads and then make a purchase on our Shopify store. Let's navigate over to next. And because this is our first campaign, we want to build from scratch. However, as you start running more ads, you can leverage this option up here. However, you do have more control with manual build. Click here and next. Let's name our campaign. And I'm going to call this waterproof headphones sales campaign. Ideally, you want to make sure that your campaign name is relevant to the campaign that you want to run. Then navigate down to campaign status. I'm going to keep this active. Then we want to keep this turned off. We want to build ads manually. Then we have the option to create a split test. This means you can create variations of your ads, whether it's the creative, the different placements, or targeting. Now, because this is our first campaign, we're gonna keep this disabled. However, after running this campaign, and ideally you want your campaign to run for at least four days, you can then create a split test and test variations of your campaign. Navigate down to the start date, and I'm going to select tomorrow. It can take time for your ads to be reviewed, so ideally you want to add the start date as the next day. Then down here, we can add an end date if we like. I'm going to click here and change this to one week from now. This is important for your first campaign because you might forget that your ads are turned on and you may accidentally spend more than you had planned. Okay, so when you're happy with your campaign details, navigate down to next. 
Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. And that's going to take us on to ad set details. This is all about ad targeting. Add your ad set name. For example, I've added waterproof headphones as this is the target product that I want to sell in this campaign. Then in brackets, I've added USA and travel. For example, I want to target the USA and users that are interested in travel. And you can change this ad set name later if you like. Under conversion location, I'm happy with web. We want to drive sales and conversions on your website. Status is active. Then if we navigate down to tracking, here we can select a pixel or set up a new pixel. I'm happy with the Flowfly sound pixel, which is the one we set up earlier and connected with Shopify. No events have been received yet as we have just set up this pixel. Then navigate down to goal and bidding and click here. And then we have these different performance goals. I'm happy with maximum number of landing page views for now. Ads will be shown to Snapchatters who are more likely to view the fully loaded website or app linked in your ad. And then as you start generating data, as you start driving conversions and your Snap Pixel starts accumulating data, you'll be able to focus on maximizing the number of website conversions. At the moment, because this is a new account, we do not have enough data to select this goal. So again, as you start generating conversions, then your next campaign, you you can change the performance goal to maximize the number of conversions on your website. Okay, let's click out of here and then keep auto bid selected. This bid strategy is best for your first campaign. Makes best effort to spend your budget. Try this strategy if you want to learn what cost per action you can achieve on Snap. Then navigate down to your budget. Now you want your daily budget to be set at around $20 to $50 per day. I'm going to change this to $30 that I want to spend on my ads per day. At the beginning, it's best to increase your budget, your daily ad spend, so that your account accumulates data and learns quicker to ultimately enhance the performance of your ads. The higher your budget, the more data your account is accumulating. And remember, because this is our first campaign, we get free ad credit. So we can make the most of that free ad credit with our first campaign. Okay, so let's navigate down to placements. Here we can customize the placements of our ads if we like, or keep automatic placements selected. Snapchat knows best, so I'm going to keep this as it is and navigate down. Here we can choose the location to target. I'm going to remove New Zealand and add the US. And that's the only country I want to target with this campaign. Then we can navigate down to demographics. If you know your audience demographic, you can add that here. I'm going to change the age to 18 up until 55 plus. All genders, under languages, I'm going to select English as my product landing page is only in English, as well as the ad creative that I want to create soon. Under advanced demographics, we have these different options for targeting. I'm going to leave this and then navigate down to audiences. Here we can create an audience by uploading a customer list by selecting specific website events as well as mobile app events. We can also create an audience that we want to target based on ad engagement. For example, users on Snapchat that watched an entire video or clicked on a button on our ad. We can also target an audience based on profile engagement, those that engage with our profile, as well as lookalike audiences. These are Snapchat users with similar characteristics to your existing customers. Okay, let's cancel out of this for now. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate back up here and type in travel and select business travelers, family travelers, and worldly travelers. And I'm happy with that targeting. Again, these are predefined audiences that I want to target. I know that these type of travelers are interested in the products that I sell on my Shopify store. Next, let's navigate down to devices. You can select the type of device that you want to display your ads on. I'm going to leave that as default as well as connection type all and then we'll leave delivery. If we navigate over to the right hand side, we can see our target audience size and then we can see available ad formats. In the next step, we can start creating the ad itself, the creative. Okay, so once you're finished with the ad set level, navigate down to next. Let's go ahead and name our ad and I'm going to call this ad name waterproof headphones video one. And then down here, you can see the different ad formats. We have single image or video. This is a full screen ad that shows after or in between content. Or we can choose story ad 
an ad showing a branded tile that opens into a collection of one to 10 images or videos. And then we have collection ad, and this is simply a single video or image with four tappable tiles to feature your products. For the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to use a single image or video. I'm going to navigate down and click on upload and select this video I created earlier and click on open. And you can see that video ad on the right hand side. This is a preview of what your ad will look like. Now, this is an ad I created with AI with the focus on driving sales. Now it's best practice to create your content, your ad creatives outside of Snapchat ads. That way you have more control over your creatives and then you can simply upload them here. Now you want to make sure that your ad content, whether it's video content or images, are in a vertical format. An ideal size for your ads is 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. And there are different platforms that you can use to create your ads. For example, this ad that I just showed you, I created with Google Flow, VO3, which is an AI video generator. This ad only took me a few minutes to create. Now, I also recommend using a platform like Canva or InVideo. Canva is ideal for creating image-based ads. For example, if you decided to create a carousel-based ad or a collection of images, then Canva is an incredibly easy to use design tool. InVideo, on the other hand, is a powerful video creator and editor. Ideal for creating these types of videos, vertical format video ads. No prior design or video editing experience is required. Also, I want to mention the platform Arcads, which allows you to create AI-generated UGC user-generated content. User-generated content for ads is incredibly impactful, especially if you're selling a product or a software. Again, Arcads allows you to easily choose from different AI avatars to create AI-driven user-generated content. So those are four options that you can leverage to build out your ad creatives. If you want to learn more about each of these different tools that I mentioned, I will add relevant tutorials down below in the description to show you how you can actually use these tools to create your own ad creatives. Okay, once you've added your content, you've created your ad and uploaded it into Snapchat ads, then we want to add a header, your 100% waterproof headphones. Then navigate down to public profile. Here's our public profile we created earlier when setting up our account. Then navigate down to destination. Here you want to add your website destination. For me, it's this product page. I'm going to take the URL of this product page and then jump back into Snapchat ads and add that here. Then navigate down to call to action and select the call to action that you want to display on your ad. I'm going to select shop now and then navigate down. And this is for message design. If your ad is eligible to be sent to Snapchat's chat feed, you can customize how your message appears. I'm going to turn this off. However, is a placement you can play around with in another campaign. Then under delivery, ensure status is active. And let's navigate over to review and publish. And that's gonna take us to this review page where we can review our campaign. Here we can review the campaign level as well as the ad set level and then the ad itself over here. However, I'm happy with this campaign, this ad, I'm going to navigate down and click on publish campaign. And congratulations, success, your ads are now under review. Let's go ahead and click on manage campaign. And this is where you can manage your ads performance. If we navigate up to the menu, you can locate this interface under manage ads. Okay, so if we navigate down here, once your ad is published and is delivering across Snapchat, keep an eye on your results. Are you driving any conversions? What you can do is run split tests. You can create variations of your campaign and test different elements. Like I mentioned earlier, you can change the targeting or the ad copy itself. With each of your split tests or your variations of your campaigns, you ideally just wanna change one thing. That way you can identify the different variables that impact your different ads. Now, ideally you want your ads to run for at least four to five days before reviewing your results. However, that is it for this beginner's tutorial. If you're interested in diving into a deeper, more high-level Snapchat ads tutorial, then let me know down in the comments. Again, if you're yet to set up a Snapchat ads account, make sure to click the link in the description below this video, and that's gonna give you $375 worth of ad credit that you can spend after you've spent $350. This is essentially doubling your budget and allowing you to get the most out of your first campaign. Again, all relevant resources and tutorials I mentioned in this tutorial, I'll add down below in the description. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Snapchat ads tutorial showing you how you can drive online store sales using paid ads. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.